Uh, well, okay. All right. Interesting. I think we, this is a, this is a pretty, pretty sick setup. Yeah. Mike is right there. So we're going to get some good audio action going on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sick. All right. Okay. I'm just going to put this down real quick. Honestly, I think that's really it for the intro. So let's, uh, let's get right into it. Action. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Downey here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at samdowney44. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. So that's youtube.com slash samdowney. I'm posting videos here every week about like LGBT stuff, trans stuff, that kind of stuff, uh, music, that, that kind of, yeah. Yeah, so if you like me and you like my channel, make sure to subscribe. I really do appreciate that, you know. You know, you guys keep me going with these videos by just like commenting and interacting with me. So I really do appreciate all my fans and all my subscribers, basically. So today's video video is going to be a fun one. We're going to be going over the differences between bi and pansexual. There's been a lot of confusion with these terms, right? Um, you know, everybody's like, I don't really understand what the difference is. Or they'll say like, oh no, this is what bi means. This is what pan means. And then someone will be like, no, no, like pan can also mean that too. Bi can also mean that too. And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? You know, like I, yeah, that is literally what it is. This bi versus pan thing. It's gone like way too far. So I'm going to, I'm going to basically give you guys my opinion opinion or like definitions of each. Now, keep in mind before we get into the video, you know, my definitions could be different than your definitions. So, you know, if you're like, oh crap, I'm not like that. And that's what Sam said. Guess I'm not that like, no, just, you know, use whatever label you want. Like, you know, it's, I, I get it. I get it. I'm the LGBT master and I know everything, but it is up to you what labels you use. Wow, I sound like a total dick. Okay. So basically these are what the actual definitions are. Bi means that you're into two or more genders, basically. And then pan means that you're into all genders. Now, this is where it gets confusing. So bi means two or more. Pan means all. So isn't that kind of the same thing? Because you got the more, the or more with the bi, and then the all with the, the pan. So this is where people get kind of confused. So we're going to kind of go over, I guess, some differences. So... I've also heard that some people say that, you know, pan means that you don't care about genitals, basically, and bi means that you have a general preference. Then I've, I've heard people say that, you know, oh, no, it's not that. Like, bi, you can have no general preference, too. And it's like, I don't know what's going on, you know? Like, it's one of those just, like, I don't know what's going on, you know? Personally, I use bi. Um, I've always uh, always used bisexual as, like, my sexuality. But I would say that I do have some kind of, like, pan traits about me. Like, for example, um, I've also heard this as well. Well, um, some people believe that pan means that you're, you do have a strong attraction towards like trans people or like non-binary people. And like, I am open-minded to dating or like seeing a trans or non-binary person. Like I'm not against that. I've never really been with a trans or non-binary person though. Uh, I've only really been with cis people. And I think that's probably maybe one of the reasons why I've used bi for the past like couple of years or like whenever I came out. But I do, you know, if that is right about the pan definition, then I am open-minded to, I guess, like all genders, including like trans and non-binary people, right? Also, I guess uh, it's good to bring this up too. Bi uh, is a more popular term, I would say. It has been around for a little bit longer, for sure. Pan is only recently, I would say, in the last, I would say the last like maybe 10, 15 years gotten more popular and more people are knowing about the term. But in the end, if you're not really in the LGBT community, you're really only gonna know gay, straight, straight, lesbian, and bi, and then I guess trans, right? You're not going to know the kind of smaller sexuality terms like pan or like, you know, what's another one? Omnisexual is another one as well. Uh, you're not going to really know those terms. So, you know, I would say more people in the LGBT community know about those terms, but not as many people outside of the LGBT community know about those terms, right? But yeah, like pan has gotten a lot popular. I've been seeing this one girl and she identifies as pan. Eh. <laughs> To be honest, you know, she identifies as Sam because she can't get enough of this dick. No, but she, she identifies as Pan, basically. And, you know, I would say she's probably one of the few people that I've encountered that identifies Pan. But I have, like, kind of, like, talked to people on, like, 
I guess like dating apps and stuff. And there is a lot more people putting in their bio pansexual or like pan, right? I feel like a lot of people also there's like bad rep between like bi and pan where it's like, it's almost like we're like fighting each other for like which one is the more legit term. And it's like, I believe that, you know, both terms can interact with each other, right? You know, like they can live together. Like there are a couple of differences, but there's also a lot of similarities. And I think the main difference really to consider is they're just different communities. I feel like you know, pan might be a little bit more accepting or open-minded towards like trans people and non-binary people. When bi is more, I'd say, open-minded uh, towards cis people. Wow, open-minded. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, no, like that's what I would say is like kind of the difference between the two communities. I know the pan community, but has gotten way more way more interactive uh, with each other for sure. I know like the pan Reddit is like insane compared to like the bi Reddit basically. In the end, it really just comes down to both terms can interact with each other. They can live together and there's no really reason to like almost bash the other one. Like if you're bi, you're like, oh yeah, pan's not legit. All it is is basically just another term that means bisexual and then, you know, vice versa. Like, you know, bi is just like, oh, bi, you know. <laughs> In the end, in my opinion, I would say uh, with my definitions, pansexual means that you, uh, you're you more into like all genders, including non-binary and trans people, and might have an actual preference towards non-binary and trans people. When bi is more, I would say you might have a more preference towards like, just like binary, binary gender people, I guess, right? Uh, and you might not be as interested in non-binary trans people, but you're still open-minded to the idea, but pan people might have more of a preference towards non-binary and trans people. And I'd say maybe that's the main difference. Hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, uh, make sure to leave in the comments what you think the difference is between bi and pansexual is because I'd really like to understand like your guys' opinions and what you guys define as bi and pan, right? But yeah, that's really about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Make sure to follow me or join my Patreon. Wow. Join my Patreon. Uh, I really do appreciate that. You know, I do pay for my hormones out of pocket, so I do appreciate that. Also, make sure to join my Discord server if you want to meet some more like-minded fans and subscribers. And yeah, make sure to follow me on TikTok. I'm posting TikToks as well. And yeah, what's uh, what else? Oh yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram at samdowney44. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. That's youtube.com slash samdowney. I also got a little surprise for you guys here. Um, you know, I do have an EP coming out soon and you know thought i would drop a little teaser of my first song at the end of this video so hope you enjoy peace i can't take